Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're watching, welcome. My name is Amy. Today I have a special video for you. In fact, this whole week we have, and I mean me and my good friend and funny, gorgeous Cat L. We're collaborating this whole week and between me and her, we're bringing you in quarantine six total video. We're calling this Influencer Week because today's video, we are talking about handbags that we got influenced by others that tipped us over to buy it. So these are items that I have in my collection that I got heavily influenced by either Instagram or YouTube or wherever. It can be handbags, it can be ready to wear, it can be accessories, it can be makeup. It does not matter as long as they're influenced by others that pushed us over to buy. For Thursday, we're gonna talk about items that we are almost tipping over and that we might buy and then finally for sunday we're gonna talk about items that we are not tipping over no matter what i'm sure a lot of you already know cat l but if you do not make sure that after you finish watching this video to check out hers i'm gonna have hers linked down below and so let's get started in no particular order my first bag that i want to talk about is the beautiful bucket bag this is the 19b bucket bag this is a seasonal handbag and this is in the small size and i got heavily influenced by the beautiful jerusha as well as my friend karis so both of them got the exact same size but in different colors so Karis has the red and Jerusha has the blue one to be honest when I first saw this bag floating around on social media I was kind of like mm, it's cute but maybe not for me I don't really need it plus I you know last year I kind of spent a lot of money at Chanel I bought a lot of bags from Chanel so I was kind of trying to be good but you guys already know that I love bucket bags and when Karis got it, I think she was the first who really really tipped me over when she got it, I was like, oh my goodness, this bag is actually a lot more practical, a lot more nicer and it actually really suits me to the T. it's so lightweight, the beautiful Julie drawstring just oh I can't resist I love the fact that it has two different straps especially this shorter one that is stationary both of them are stationary actually you cannot move remove them but that's beside the point this perfect shorter strap is amazing for the crook of the arm um, it's just amazing to grab and go and then of course when Jerusha got it I'm like okay that is it that is it she got it I was already tipped over but now that she got it I'm like okay it's over I'm getting it so I tracked it down via my personal shopper because by the time that I was looking for this it was already towards the end of the season so it's already towards the end of the fall winter season so it was already completely sold out in Canada and uh, it was pretty hard to track down but finally I got one and I'm so glad obviously with personal shopping you do have to pay a premium but it was worth every single penny I love this bag so much the second bag that I wanted to talk about is in fact an SLG but I will treat it as a bag and this is the beautiful Saint Laurent Yves Saint Laurent Uptown pouch this was heavily influenced by my good friend here Isabel if you guys follow my channel you know that I'm not super heavily into SLGs I just use the same thing over and over I only have a handful of them and I really don't care about what's inside my bag as much as what's outside which is like the actual bag so for me this was you know when I first saw it on other influencers I'm like they're nice but I don't need it and plus when am I really gonna need a clutch right which is still true, I don't really need a clutch most of the time but when I saw this color come up this year or maybe it was towards the end of last year I just couldn't get my mind off it and plus when Isabel revealed her second one and she kept raving about it I'm just like okay I gotta get it especially because I got this on sale which is amazing and this beautiful color is just to die for this is almost a black but it's not it's really a very dark green and it's a beautiful croc embossed leather it's so luxurious it looks more expensive than it is I feel like it's a beautiful neutral it looks great even with what I'm wearing today so you don't necessarily need to go with black or gray or brown to be neutral you can go with something super kind of jewel tone but super dark color such as this beautiful green and green is all the rage this year so I'm so glad that I got this and yes I was heavily influenced by my friend here Isabel the next item is a handbag that I no longer
longer have but I loved it while I had it and it is the Palm Springs Mini from Louis Vuitton. I love that little backpack. I treat it as a handbag. I wear it crossbody. The bag hasn't come back in stock or whenever it did, it wasn't to my standards. So I don't have it anymore. But while I had it, I super enjoyed it. With this handbag, I was actually heavily influenced by my good friend, Amy Jo. At the time, a canvas bag for almost $2,000 or upwards of that is considered really expensive. and obviously now is the norm but at the time I'm like eh, it's just a little canvas bag what's so special about it uh, it's cute I mean I'll give you that but of course she got it and then she started raving about it and you know between me and her we chat a lot like almost daily sometimes she convinced me that it was you know way more practical way more useful and super cute not only realized that it was super cute but it was also super practical so i totally got influenced by her so uh yes i no longer have it in my collection but it was definitely a bag that i enjoyed thoroughly the next bag that i wanted to talk about is a handbag again from louis vuitton that i got heavily heavily influenced very recently actually and you guys don't even know about it because i haven't revealed it yet and also because I just bought it. Heavily influenced by my collaborator, my good friend here, Kat L. So this was the box that it came in. I'm just gonna reveal it here. That's why it's a surprise. Nobody has seen it. I think only one of my friend knows about it and it's an IG friend. Hi, babe, if you're watching. Even Kat doesn't know it. Ta-da! <laughs> I got it. Obviously, I got it online. I was stalking the website constantly, and it is the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire. This bag was gifted to a lot of top influencers and celebrities and you're just wondering is it really as good as they claim so i definitely had my doubts about it but i do admit that even when they first came out i was like wow this is cool this is a really cool looking bag even after a lot of youtubers bought it themselves i was like mm, it's okay i'll just admire it from afar but when my friend got it when cat got it i was like okay girl tell me is it worth me getting it? She was still pretty constructive with the pros and cons of it. After I talked to her, I'm like, okay, maybe I do need it. And especially because I feel like I don't have a canvas bag that I can treat it very, very casually. That gives me the same sense of practicality as well as almost like the vibe uh, of the Palm Springs Mini since I no longer have that bag. And plus, I don't really have a canvas one that's small enough, but that's also big enough to be you know kind of like the on the go grab and go type of bag so i decided that's it i'm gonna get it and she tipped me over and i definitely got it and this is the first time i'm revealing it to youtube as well as even to cat i haven't even told her i kind of kept it not really secret but i literally just got it like over the week so um yeah i'm glad that i got it obviously i haven't used it but i do have my thoughts about it and uh, i do want to make a video about just my general thoughts i don't think i need to do a full review just because there's tons of good reviews out there jerusha's review is excellent you should watch it cat's video is excellent i haven't even moved the strap this is how the strap comes um i haven't adjusted it yet but this is the perfect length for me i feel like this bag looks amazing when you wear it short because it just stops right here and it's so cool not with this outfit but like you guys know what i mean like it's so cool when you're just wearing a casual t-shirt and jean the next two bags that i want to talk about are these two beauties every company calls it differently but this one i think it's called the spike bag and it is made in lambskin and it's beautiful i got this i think two years ago it also comes with a beautiful chain strap which is amazing and then this one i got last year and it's i think it's called the rock set bag so this is in um calf skin and it's just very simple fabric lined they did change the design of this one recently a lot of you reached out to me and told me that uh, the inside is no longer lined in fabric and it is in fact just the raw side of the leather and also a lot of you can't find the smooth leather anymore it's just the pebbled leather so I, I'm pretty sure it's still around because I do see it on the Valentino website, the official website but it's possible that a lot of retail stores have sold out of it but keep an eye out because I still love this bag a lot it's one of the best mini bags that are 
you know very very affordable especially if you can find it on sale but both of these were influenced by sophie showhead i'm not like a die-hard fan of valentino in general i mean i like the look of it i like how the studs give it uh the signature edginess and i think a little bit of studs really elevate an outfit no matter what you wear and it can go very casual very dressy both of them actually this one you can wear as a clutch without the long strap and this one i mean it just speaks for itself so i'm glad that i have these in my collection i don't think that i'm gonna be like continually adding a lot of valentino pieces but i'm sure once in a while when they come up with a very stunning and especially something like this that is super affordable I'm gonna just gonna get my hands on it because they are well made and so far I've been loving their bags. I have these two very beautiful, very unique Louis Vuitton bags that I got heavily influenced by Holly, Holly Anna Erie. This is the Neverfull MM size in the My World Tour and these are all customized by myself, meaning the stickers I chose it myself and oops, oh my goodness, um, same on this side and it of course comes with the pouch and then on the pouch it has also the corresponding stickers that i chose and then the other bag that i also got influenced by her it is the spring street bag this is also one of those kind of unique looking bag that you don't really see you actually never i never saw it on anyone else to be honest i already have a neverfull i have it in the monogram with machete leather and i love it but it's good to have something that's already treated so you don't have to worry about uh, the rain and the weather here um, also with the stickers I've never had any problems or issues so far I've had pieces that have silk screens on it before as well and they were pretty durable obviously you can't constantly rub it or um, if it's your everyday bag then maybe it will have more wear and tear but so far mine has worn really well and I love this bag obviously this is customized it has my name on it so it's not going anywhere both of these are definitely very unique bags um, this one is from their archive from the Louis Vuitton archive so it definitely looks a little vintage as well it has this nice vintage vibe but it definitely has been modernized already with you know the charms and just the, the textures as well they changed a few things so I like it a lot uh, it's still in my collection I don't use it quite as much but it's still a beautiful bag and it's very very roomy actually for a mini bag uh, it definitely fits an iPhone plus this is my Chanel jumbo single flap and it is heavily influenced by the beautiful Christina Brawley. After watching the review that Christina had, I knew that the single flap was my answer. I still like the medium large, but you know, between the medium large and the jumbo, especially at the time, the jumbo being more popular and also the fact that this fits a lot i decided to go with this and no regrets this bag has held up really well i got a really nice one one that's in really good shape there's hardly any wear and tear that's visible uh, given the, the age of the bag so i'm super happy with it obviously it's not a bag that i wear a lot because it is on the larger side and you guys know that i'm into mini bags and i really hesitate on selling anything chanel like i said before because once you sell, it's like gone and it's so hard to get it back and obviously sometimes even if it's a permanent style, which a lot of my bags are not permanent style if you haven't noticed, um, they're just so so hard to get back again. I still recommend the single and no regrets in that regard but in the past, whenever I don't use a bag very often, I would just sell it but like I said, going forward with anything Chanel, I really hesitate on selling like anything Chanel just because you just don't know if you're gonna regret it especially if they're so hard to find again or they might be super expensive to get it back the iconic Balma jacket this is the shorter version which is a lot more fitted uh, it's actually quite fitted it's very tight uh, but these are signature very signature broad shoulders very cinched in ways and just super nicely tailored uh, very structured and really good quality amazing quality worth every single penny if uh, if you love your jackets so these jackets I have three of them I'm just showing the black one these jackets heavily influenced by Tamara very fashion forward after watching her video I was like okay that's it I'm getting my first moment jacket aside from Tamara there's also Caitlin Pulowski who had a great video on it although she's not so into this jacket anymore i live in vancouver so it's cold enough to wear a jacket like you know at least half of the year or more and so these jackets are great investments for me i have to say i don't wear them 
a whole lot because they're very expensive and I don't really have that many places where I have to wear an actual you know ballman jacket but I try my best to wear as much as I can and so definitely don't regret it quality wise they are excellent they are very expensive but you can definitely get them on sale sometimes it depends on the sizing as well I feel like my size uh, my size is 34 I feel like 34 36 even 38 usually gets sold out very quickly uh, so you gotta get your hands on them early if you like something so I have the black I have the red and I have the pink as well the red and the pink are seasonal a good jacket never goes out of style even if this particular very structured and very cinched in style can look a bit dated sometimes but honestly uh, it comes and go fashion comes and goes it, it just one year can be more boxy and the next year it'll be cinched in again so it, it'll it'll last me for a lifetime that's my whole point so highly recommend them uh this is in full wool but i have tried this jacket in tweed i have tried it in like a viscose tweed they all look amazing like i said this is influencer week so if i mentioned you in this video please consider yourself tagged yes we're gonna make this into a tag video jerusha isabel amy melissa Caitlin, consider yourself tagged. Of course, I'm also gonna tag a few more ladies down below because I'm nosy. I wanna know who influenced you, what tipped you over, who tipped you over, what are those items. You can just do this one, you can do all three topics, it's up to you. Before I let you go, do not forget to check out my friend Kat's video because we're collaborating and she did her version of what tipped her over who tipped her over and uh yeah that's pretty much it if you're brand new to my channel i would love to have you back give me a like if you enjoyed it it would really really help me out and i really appreciate it for the rest of you if you want to do this video please do it let's keep this video alive let's keep this tag and topic influencer week alive and that is it for today thank you so much for watching have a good day and week ahead of you and i will talk to you again very soon bye